Hey everyone, this is Joni, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Vital, the brand new software synth that just came out last week that has a ton of really great features and a really intuitive user interface and some great sounds. So let's just dive in and see what this software is all about. So this is the main window when you first open the plugin. You've got a few different tabs up here, your voice tab, effects tab, matrix, and advance. Here you'll find your main oscillators, you have three on this main window. You have a sampler that can also act as a noise oscillator. And you have two filters here at the bottom that can be mapped to any different oscillators or the sampler. On the right hand side, you're gonna have your different envelopes. You have envelope one, which is your main volume envelope. You have envelope two and envelope three that can be mapped to any different parameter. You also have your LFOs. You have four here on this main window, but as you go through and map, you can have access to more. You have a random LFO section here. And then you also have some of the MPE settings here on this right side where you can control things like velocity, pressure, slide, stereo random. You also have your voice count here on the bottom. You have your stereo spread to go from mono on the left to very wide stereo on the right. You have your glide controls. And last but not least, you have these macro controls that can be mapped to any different parameters as well. So let's talk about mapping parameters. It's very similar to Serum in the sense that you can just click and drag to any parameter. And then to undo the mapping of parameter, you can right click, select disconnect. And so let's just start with this first oscillator here. You have your wavetable here, a simple saw wave. You have your volume control, your pan. You have your pitch controls, a semitone pitch, a fine tune pitch, which goes up and down a full semitone. And also to reset these parameters, you can just double click and it'll go back to zero. You also have your unison controls here. To get a little bit of stereo width. And then you also have your phase and warping controls here. Down at the bottom, you can choose how you want to warp. There's some really cool ones in here. And you can do this with the phase control as well. There's so many different things you could do, especially being able to map any of these parameters. possibilities are limitless. I should also note there's a few different tiers of this plugin. There is the free tier, which you have all the features at your disposal. There's also a plus tier that's $25, a pro tier that's $80, and a subscription tier for $5 a month. That's the tier that I'm on for this particular plugin, just because I wanted to have access to a few different presets and, and also unlimited access to the text to wavetable features. And so let's go into that now, because I think that's a really cool aspect of this synth that not a lot of people are talking about. In order to get to the text to wavetable features, you can either go into the presets here, there's a template that you can find, or you can go into the wavetables and you can right click and select this text to wavetable here. And then after right clicking, it'll prompt you to type in. So let's type in hello and let's choose the English language US, hit enter, and play a note. Hello, 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 hello. And so basically this LFO is just resetting that wavetable here. If you wanted to build this from scratch, you could just assign this LFO to this wavetable. But this is such a cool feature for a software synth like this. And the fact that it's free just it that boggles my mind. It's such an insanely useful synth. All of the presets are great too. You'll find a few really influential producers like Mr. Bill have created presets for this synth.
I should also note there is a volume control up at the top here. Some of these wavetables can get a little hot depending on where you play them. One other thing that I really like about this plugin is the effects section. So if you click here into the second tab, you'll see you've got your bread and butter effects like chorus, compressor, delay. The way that they've designed these effects is very musical, very intuitive, and insanely creative if you go in and map some of these parameters to these LFOs or envelopes. So let's go into one of the presets that I made that I'll have for free download in the link in the description to get you started playing around with this synth. And let's open up the funky lead preset. Now here you can see I've got the distortion, the chorus, the delay, and the reverb. I have my mod wheel routed to this LFO here and that's controlling the pitch. And these effects just make everything sound very lush, very wide. And let's take all these effects off so you can just hear the dry sound. Let's give that a little bit more grit. Nice and toasty. I will back that off just a little bit. Let's add this chorus, which is probably my favorite effect that they've included. I love the visual aspect of the chorus too, this little rotating obelisk thing. I don't know what that is, but uh, you can control how many voices that the chorus is controlling, um, the depth of the chorus, the individual delay. It also has a cutoff filter, uh, which I would imagine is what frequencies are let into the chorus. You have the feedback, the actual stereo spread and the mix. Let's add the delay back on. So I really like this delay as well. You've got a few different modes here. Your standard mono, stereo, ping pong, and mid ping pong. All these effects are pretty wide in general, which I think as a modern electronic music producer, I like. Um, but you can also dial back some of the stereo spread if you wanna make sure that you're not running into any mono compatibility issues. This reverb is a great effect too. They've really figured out the chorus controls here for a very lush sounding chorus. Let's open up the mix on that. Just a very big sounding reverb. Another interesting thing with this individual preset is I have mapped the velocity here to the filter. And so basically what that is controlling is the harder that I hit my key, the more this filter is gonna open up. So let's try a soft hit. Let's try some harder hits. It just gives you a little bit more expression in some of these controls. That's a very basic MPE control, but if you had an MPE controller like the Rolly Seaboard, you could control things like pressure, slide. There's a whole range of options you would have with a more advanced controller like that. And that's basically it. Uh, you can find these presets in the description. I'll have those for free download on my website. My final thoughts on Vital. Some things that I really like are the user interface. Everything is super intuitive and easy to figure out, especially if you're coming from something like Serum or Massive, you're gonna find all the controls that you're looking for within the first 15 minutes of playing around with this synth. Another thing that I like is all of the wavetables are super high quality. The filter sounds really good. The effects sound really good. And just the way that they've chosen to display these effects, I think makes producers like myself who are very visually oriented, it just makes this a more enjoyable experience to make music with this synthesizer. Another thing that I really like about it is it's free. I'm kind of surprised that it's free to be honest because there's so many features and it sounds so good. 
if you want, you can elect to pay either the $5 a month or some of the higher tiers for more presets uh, and a few more features. But even with the free tier, you're getting all of the main features built in. So it's a great value, aka free. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. I'll be doing more tutorials and more product reviews like this. But other than that, happy creating and I'll catch you next time.